بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سو اگین اٹس افریقن لٹریچر فار ماسٹرس اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ از ای این جی ایل فور ون ون سیون آئی ایم شہزادی سمرا اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر گڈ ان یور ہومز اینڈ یور فیملیز ایز ویل اینڈ می اللہ سیو اس فرام دس ڈیزیز اینڈ فرام دس ڈیزاسٹر آمین سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ اگین دی چینو اچیویز تھنگس فال اپارٹ دی رائٹر ان ہوز کمپنی دا پریزن والس فیل ڈاؤن سو ان دا پریویس آلموسٹ تھری لیکچرس اور فور لیکچرس وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس مینی تھنگس اباؤٹ چینو اچیوے اینڈ ہز ورک تھنگس فال اپارٹ سو ٹوڈے اس ٹاپک از دی کانفلکس ان دا تھنگس فال اپارٹ Uh, the conflicts and the symbolism both are the same in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, novel as in the symbolism we discussed about the their relationship uh, their agriculture issues uh, the masculinity and uh, other uh, like uh, their uh, yams uh, and uh, other crops so today we are going to discuss that uh, what kind of conflicts are in the novel and uh, how they created Uh, what was the reason behind those conflicts were they already in the african uh, civilization or they uh, originated with the arrival of the white people so let's see the first the which types of the conflicts are the personal conflict racial conflict class like uh, class uh, racial these conflicts are quite common and uh, there isn't any need to elaborate these points then the caste conflict uh, Uh, political and uh, internal and the one is missing that is the international so these are the basic uh, g- or uh, general types of the conflicts and uh, we can see these uh, uh, like uh, these conflicts in our surroundings in our religion in sex and in uh, 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 like in politics in caste system we can observe these conflicts in many areas of our lives so the uh, and relevant to the novel the fundamental uh, conflicts explored by the achibe there are the only four major conflicts in this uh, work first one is the cultural conflict and the cultural conflict is uh, with the west and the uh, african second is the generational conflict generational means uh, uh, like uh, his father a conco's a relationship with his uh, son noy then uh, a conco's or your uh, yunoka's relationship with his uh, uh, with his uh, uh, son uh, a conco so the next is the religious conflict religious conflict basically the uh, the conflict of uh, african religion they didn't have a particular religion basically there were poly- they were polytheist like uh, they worshiped many gods and uh, like hindus and uh, the other religion is the christianity then the internal conflict uh, conco is the best example of the internal conflict and uh, when i will you know, discuss this detail i will let you know or i will tell you how then the conflict is the fifth one is the uh, man versus man sorry i have written the four major rather these are the five uh, conflicts basically man versus man man versus man the man versus society how a man is uh, uh, fighting against his society or uh, you may say how a person is striving to survive in the society so these are basically the four uh, five major conflicts in the novel that uh, achibe tried to depict or achibe depicted uh, in order to clear these stereotypes against uh, african people as i told you that uh, this work was in response was written in response to the uh, george of conrad's heart of darkness so first one is the cultural culture versus culture so in this so uh, work uh, and things fall apart we have uh, basically two cultures one was the african culture and the second was the uh, white culture culture of the white people or the european culture so it means if we are uh, 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 denoting the name of the culture to the traditions and norms of the african people it means they already had culture they already had civilization and uh, the white men just arrived and uh, uh, there was clue and because of their arrival For, it has uh, like i have written the ebo versus western tradition versus christianity or tradition versus change you can uh, name it in uh, different perceptions with the arrival of the white man there 
religion and cultures comes the kluyan kluyan means there was a collapse of the if we are, we are trying if there is a one thing and we are trying to oh impose we are we are trying to fix or we are trying to put something other in the other thing it means that thing will automatically collapse so because of their white culture and because of the ibo culture though they were fighting against each other they were fi- they, are fi- they were fighting to survive in the yumofian clan so it is the main conflict of the novel before the arrival of the christian people were happily following their own rules their own laws their customs traditions and their culture was everything for them and uh, they were following those terms uh, and we have already discussed these in detail in the previous four lectures as uh, already so they were divided into tribes there were yumofia almost had uh, nine clans and the uh, and every tribe had a leader if there uh, there was a leader it means that there was also a political system and everything was already there mm. and uh, it was just uh, the uh, excuse of the white people that uh, they were there to civilize them so the growing yams in farms was their only duty and uh, growing yams was considered the masculine so the son inha- sons inherited farms from their fathers and in difficult times they consulted their mothers or maternal uncles so a person could have as much wives as he wanted that that was uh, and that's why konko was married almost uh, three to four times and uh, there wasn't uh, any issue for them for in the polygamy so it was uh, like uh, it was uh, masculine for them to have more wives they used to tell stories uh, i told you the story of the birds and turtles and uh, equifi the mother of uh, azinma she used to tell her stories and noa's mother used to tell him stories and konko also told stories of uh, from their uh, like of their ancestors to konko sorry to noa so the ibo culture was the combination combination of basically different norms that is why it is said that african culture or african civilization is a rich civilization so the white men arrived and shattered everything the reason for shattering because they tried to impose their culture so that is why the, the they uh, when you uh, like uh, when you try to push uh, something it bounces back with the equal force so there that's why there was collusion of cultures because they were pushing them they were uh, uh, imposing their own culture on them so that was uh, the uh, you know uh, there was cultural conflict so they brought their culture with them and forcefully tried to impose it on others and uh, there were lots of differences between uh, white man's culture and nigerian culture or the ibo culture it wasn't easy for the ibo people to accept their values and uh, a cultural conflict arose in the things fall apart so the strong men like akonko tried to resist but failed however the young generation accepted it like novoy he accepted the change and the reason for accepting the change because he was not as much influenced from his culture as the akonko was so he accepted christianity and their culture as well and it causes an other conflict between young generation and old generation in things fall apart so the white man's cultures were entirely opposite to the ibo culture and uh, when ibo people refused to accept it a uh, conflict arose and the cultural conflict is very realistically illustrated in the things fall apart so that was the about uh, the cultural conflict that how it cre- it was originated and it was as achibe depicted it and achibe tried to depict uh, the everything because uh, he wanted to remove the stereotypes about the western people and uh, that is why he uh, depicted the cultural he wasn't favoring anyone or he wasn't uh, 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 like um, dominating any culture but he was just trying to uh, depict that uh, uh, african people they already had traditions they already had culture they already had civilization but uh, the white uh, but because of the white people they lost everything because of the uh, uh, f- uh, like uh, imposition of the white people because of their own personal benefit they just destroyed their everything so that is how the conflict in uh, 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 in that created so uh, n- next one is uh, generational conflicts as i told you that generational conflict was between father and son 
so a conco's conflict or with his father and a noise conflict with his father so that was the generational conflict uh, in this uh, uh, work uh, because uh, because uh, uh, as you know ka he was uh, uh, a kind of father uh, who was tender who wasn't so much masculine and uh, who was uh, in love with his uh, music and uh, with his own desires and he wasn't selfish although but he was uh, not as masculine as uh, the society wanted him to be so there is a fault we can see uh, uh, we can see a fault in the african uh, culture that uh, how they were demanding things from their people and how were the, how they were demanding their people or their men to be masculine or to follow or to prove themselves to be masculine so yunoka wasn't anything like that and uh, yunoka he wanted to uh uh like uh, he wanted to ju- uh, just uh, uh, do things of his own choice and uh, what he did was uh, uh, was uh, unacceptable for the uh, ibo people or the yumofian society or the yumofian clan so uh, akonko was afraid and uh, it was like a kind of nightmare to akonko because uh, he didn't like uh, uh, what he heard about his father and uh, because every time uh, he he was just uh, uh, you know uh, 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 like uh, he was just saying people uh, 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 backbiting about his father or uh, giving him uh, you know bad names or calling him lazy or failure so that was a nightmare or the uh, life of the uh, uh, you know ka was nightmare for his son akonko you know ka was uh, irresponsible father although he was tender he was polite he wasn't uh, a fighter a kind of fighter but uh, uh, he was lazy and uh, he didn't even try to uh, give anything to his family and uh, it wasn't like that uh, he was just uh, striving for uh, uh, survival he wasn't even trying to survive he was just living his life by a yeah, hook or uh, crook so for a conco that was just unex- uh, unacceptable because he was the kind of person who wanted fame who didn't want to uh, he didn't want to be uh, like his father he wanted to be a person accepted by every th- everyone or liked by everyone so a conco did uh, everything to just uh, 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 to get or to make reputation his own reputation in his clan and he was respected in his clan from the time when he uh, defeated the cat uh, wrestler from the uh, other clan so that was the time when he got uh, his reputation or uh, uh, tag uh, of approval from his clan member and he was quite satisfied and in order to sustain that in order to maintain that uh, uh, rank or that uh, uh, clan and he was just uh, trying more he became uh, uh, uh you know the uh, emotionless person apparently he was emotional he had uh, he felt emotions but uh, he didn't want to show emotions because according to him he as uh, if he ever let his emotions uh, overcome him that will be a failure for him and uh, because he saw the you know ka and because he just saw the extreme of emotions uh, uh, in the shape of his father you know ka and that is why he was uh, Uh, afraid of showing emotions so on the other hand a con uh, a conco and novoy novoy also saw the extreme because uh, uh, he just saw the uh, strict uh, stout um, stoic person uh, uh, man who wasn't who was just working and uh, f- uh, for him the, his uh, work his reputation ap- was everything and who was always in anger for him it was uh, uh, feminine to be polite or it was feminine to be uh, to take in trust in uh, uh, in stories and something like that in feminine stories so uh, a conco was something else a conco was more like jinoka because he was polite he was affectionate he was tender and he was not a kind of fighter as the conco was 
so uh, there was there was the conflict between both and because of this conflict that conco did not accept noe as his son he was just uh, uh, he was afraid because uh, he uh, uh, he thought that he would uh, fail or uh, he would fail like yunoka and uh, instead uh, uh, conco wanted uh, his daughter uh, as in ma as to be a boy so he wished that uh, she should have been a boy so that was the conflict uh, between both generations and uh, they were unable to bring a balance between both things as uh, you know ka was unable to bring balance between uh, emotion or reason and uh, konka uh, konko was uh, also unable to bring balance between emotions and reason he was just being reason uh, reason he was just being uh, giving reasons and logics to novoy and uh, just um, uh, uh, you know uh, accusing or abusing Novoi. why for not being so masculine for not being working as masculine or macho man uh, like a conco so uh, on the other hand the ikmi fiona uh, he was masculine or he was the kind of son that a conco liked so uh, that is how the the conflict in them uh, uh, rose in that conflict the um, uh, although the conflict between moy and konko uh, uh, was there but uh, because of the uh, white people and because of the arrival of the white people uh, there uh, was the, uh, uh, like uh, uh, because of their arrival it was uh, uh, the, when he uh, Uh, adopted or when he converted to into Christianity, this thing created a more conflicts between father and son, and uh, they were just uh, uh, you know reconcile, unable to reconcile, and Konko uh, who he uh, just uh, uh, you know disowned his uh, novoy because of the conversion. So that is the uh, these are the generational conflicts in this work and. Uh, so they, they are present there and uh, if you read the text you can and uh, point it out very easily so the next conflict is uh, religious religion versus religion so the religious conflicts obviously the uh, abos religion and the uh, uh, christianity so ibo belong to polytheistic religion they had uh, uh, many gods like they uh, believed in uh, uh, cho uh, chokwo or chineke and chai or ala so these there were uh, different gods uh, for ibo people and uh, for uh, every god like uh, hindus in hinduism or buddhism they have gods for everything so they are the polytheistic as well so uh, the ibo people they were polytheistic and the white the uh, while the white men european men they came with the christianity with bible in their hands so the they, there was conflict it created a conflict as uh, uh, it created the culture conflict it also created the religious conflict because as they was trying to impose their culture there was they were also trying to impose their religion on the uh, uh, african people so uh, so uh, the chuk chuk uh, chukwo and uh, shineke they considered creator god creator who created the world uh, universe so similarly the ala the earth goddess was also there for them to worship and uh, they have believes in spirits as well in ancestors who protect their uh, uh, the uh, descendants Uh, so the ibos uh, they uh, had beliefs in spirits as well as uh, in ancestors who protect their living descendants uh, so in short they belong to <coughs> polytheistic uh, religion different gods were there to help them on different occasions 
uh, on the other hand the white men uh, came with christianity they worshiped only one god which was unacceptable for uh, ibo society uh, or uh, furthermore they tried Uh, to expand their religion and uh, to some extent they succeeded in doing so and uh, when they observed that christianity called killing twins a brutal act uh, they stood against it and uh, tried to stop its expansion so eventually religion versus religion uh, conflict arose uh, finally the ibo religion was uh, eliminated and the christianity overpowered and uh, the f- the first one who converted to con- christianity were uh, the outcast because the uh, because uh, uh, people from the uh, the christian people they are uh, they just uh, uh, gave them shelter or uh, they just gave them uh, importance or value in order to uh, uh, make them christian so that uh, that is how the religious conflict arose in things fall apart so the next uh, one is the man versus man or the man versus uh, uh, society uh so uh, instead of uh, moving on to man versus man i would like you to tell more about the religious conflict and uh, as i told you that uh, uh, they started from the outcast and uh, uh, they were becoming and uh, uh, missionaries and uh, missionaries changed them and uh, uh, so no more were the also outcast uh, they were made the social elite and made wealthy as well so uh the clans had been rich until this point uh, but uh, they were now poor because of the outcast as uh, the christians they have missionaries help them a lot so the social hierarchy ceased to exist and uh, everyone mixed freely children uh, they no longer respected their parents for example noe uh, uh, who feared his father earlier but after the arrival of the uh, missionaries uh, he disrespected of his father by joining or by converting into christianity uh, and uh, they stop talking to each other uh, so the uh, so the leaders of the clan they were also humiliated and once they were put in, in prison so as a result uh, uh, of the downfall of the religion uh, and it was also showing the downfall of the culture so side by side both things were happening if the culture was uh, uh, going down the re- religion was automatically g- going down so there was a dilemma, dilemma that the younger generations accepted christianity and their culture but the elders uh, were not ready to accept the white man's culture so they wanted to save their own culture and uh, so there was a conflict uh, their own so they also wanted to save their own religion so there was a conflict uh, between in the younger generation and the older generation and uh, the missionaries so now move on to the man versus society so this as we all know from the beginning that uh, if you are the fittest if you are the strongest then you can survive in this society so that is the survival of the fittest for example uh, in a forest or in a jungle uh, who survives, survives better those animals who are the strong animals or the fit ones so that is uh, also uh, the same in the uh, man society uh if you are weak and uh, if you are uh, uh, unable to cope up with the changes or uh, unable to accept the changes uh, and uh, uh, unable to convince people or to make them follow you or unable to follow others so uh, th- it will ultimately lead you to y- your downfall for example a conco he survived till now because he considered or the other people considered him strongest but with the arrival of the uh, missionaries uh, he was regarded as the weakest as he uh, those uh, it is a general idea those who commit suicide uh, it isn't their uh, uh, strongivity or it isn't their uh, uh, you know bravery uh, to commit suicide the other instead facing the things uh, and uh, coping up the things that is the bravery or uh, conquered everything 
although he faced everything he faced every obstacle but uh, ultimately he felt that when his clan didn't support him so he felt that he is now alone he just can't not go on and uh, he just can't face it anymore so the uh, for, and uh, other uh, apart from the missionaries and uh, uh, clans there was also that that ibo uh, every tribe in the ibo society they tried to maintain their respect by killing the people of the other tribe so uh, it also shows that man is the worst enemy of humanity so uh, as we uh, already discussed i i'm not sure uh, if i discussed discussed in uh, your class okay uh, forget it so the man is the worst enemy of humanity and uh, because of it uh, it's it's changing and then and uh, so the survival of the fittest or the survival of the strongest is the primary theme of this novel whosoever is the strong whosoever is the fittest will survive uh so the many incidents are there in the novel uh, where men tried to kill their fellow men and a uh, conco killed his adopted son with his own hands just to show his powers over the men of the society uh, and uh, uh, he could avoid it but he showed that he was emotionless so hence he possessed more strength so it was one way of uh, him showing strength uh, and uh, showing his uh, strong wills uh, you know, to the or uh, so that people may not uh, 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 you know underestimate them people may not think of him as a weak person so uh, the similarly uh, wars between the tribes also showed conflict uh, of man versus man and uh, suffice us to say that uh, man versus man is one of the prominent conflict in thing fa- things fall apart whether you are christian whether you are emofian or ibon from belong to the ibo society there was always a conflict between those both they were always uh, in clash so apart from that uh, uh, there are some other conflicts as the uh, i will discuss them later <coughs> so uh, as the many people the outcasts why did they accept the uh, christianity why did they accept or why they converted into christianity more easily because uh, christianity or missionaries they were making them strong that is why they accepted uh, christianity more quickly as compared to the other people so uh, uh, we can say that the, uh, they were every person was in conflict with the other person yeah as uh, uh, the uh, like a uh, conco uh, was in conflict with the other clan member or with his son and noy was in conflict with his father and uh, with the other people uh, likewise uh, there were many people or uh, the outcast they were in conflict with the a uh, umofian people so everyone was in conflict with the other or uh, one and uh, when the uh, missionaries came uh, uh, then uh, uh, the both uh, the tribes or uh, the both earth uh, cultures or uh, umofians and uh, the missionaries they uh, came into conflict with each other so everyone was already fighting there and uh, uh, with the arrival of the missionaries it became worse so uh, that is and uh, whosoever is the who is the who was the strong or is the strong and uh, at, uh, ultimately survives in the uh, society first uh, the uh, ibu society the clans whose uh, uh, whosoever the clan was the strong like the mofian or the other clans uh, uh, who were strong they had uh, uh, you know dominancy over the other clans and uh, the outcasts were weaker and uh, the clans were or uh, dominant over the outcast then the missionaries came then missionaries they uh, uh, they uh, 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 they became dominant on the e uh, clan people so whosoever was the fittest whosoever was the strongest uh, either uh, he holds the power so the next one is the internal conflict uh, internal conflict uh, it is best uh, can be described with the a uh, reference of uh, a conco 
but uh, it can also uh, be described with the uh, with the reference of the other clan people so the a, a conquest struggle with his own inner self so uh, first uh, uh, like uh, every person in the clan as i told you uh, every person in the clan was uh, conflicting was in conflict with the other person so the when the christianity expanded a uh, new generation the younger people they accepted uh, it uh, and uh, whereas the old gen- uh, older generation uh, resisted due to which the internal conflicts arose and uh, uh, fall uh, the uh, like uh, the inner conflict and uh, uh, man versus the inner soul so uh, chai is the prominent uh, uh, like uh, chai the inner soul the individual uh, god chai so they came into conflict with the the chai and uh, everyone uh, was uh, uh, struggling with himself so uh, the ibo society was a complete society but every person was living an individual life uh, for instance the akonko he was fighting his inner fears of failure and uh, he was struggling with his own self uh, own self worth like he was um, uh, he was uh, uh, throughout the novel uh, he was afraid of uh, uh, getting failed he was afraid of calling uh, or named as fail- failure like you know ka like his father so he was constantly uh, struggling with everything with the outer conflicts with the inner conflicts so uh, the, uh, he was uh, like calculating his uh, actions uh, uh, always calculating his actions if i do this it will gain me respect if i did this uh, it will uh, uh, you know uh, uh, it will uh, 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 degrade me or uh, it will lessen my uh, prestige or my repute in the uh, clan so uh, uh, the uh, another conflict he was facing the uh, about uh, the feelings so he never showed uh, he never expressed love to his family uh, in the open and uh, uh, or not in the uh, at home as uh, 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 like uh, at home as such but at uh, he was just uh, uh, struggling with it for him it was feminine and or it was feminine thing to show uh, 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 like uh, feminine to show feelings uh, uh, like no way he was a uh, vaccinate one and uh, for a uh, conco he was womanish and uh, he was at manly enough so uh, uh the the and uh, uh, navoy he was also fighting with his weakness weaknesses and uh, uh, this inner conflict forced the navoy uh, as uh, he was always uh, reprimanded by his father for not being so much manly for not being so much strong because he was afraid that uh, if he want if he would be like that uh, he uh, uh, the, his son will fail so uh, this inner conflict forced to know to uh, convert it into uh, to convert into christianity and uh, apparently the people were happy <clears throat> apparently they were uh, having a good life uh, in the ibo society but they were trying to find a better life and uh, like uh, uh, bevika the friend of um, konko he was a false of follower of uh, ibo culture and uh, obeyed every order of uh, earth goddess but uh, he was against the philosophy of killing twins and uh, he wanted to do something but he never could so uh, and uh, like uh, akonko was also uh, such kind of person there he was all there, there was many questions of uh, in his mind about his is uh, culture but uh, he just couldn't uh, get the answers it's not sorry akonko but novoy so uh, the struggle against white man as there was struggle uh, uh, within the uh, himself him self uh, uh, akonko also struggled against a white man uh, compared to the other people of the clan so 
he was a uh, uh, you know or uh, he uh, did want his people to convert into christianity he was uh, trying to oh, stop every person he was trying to stop christians uh, from overpowering his clan people and he was uh, trying to uh, convince his clan people for uh, getting overpowered because of the christians and uh, uh, that uh, and he also disowned his father uh, his uh, son then so that people may not uh, consider him weak and people may not consider that uh, he is in the favor of the christians that is why he disowned his son so he was struggling uh, with everything with his inner feelings uh, with the, his own self worth and uh, uh, like uh, if he was uh, uh, he was uh, afraid of the possession of the white man there was one reason uh, it uh, there may be another reason because he was afraid that uh, if they overpowered he will be uh, considered a common man his own than worth his own value it will be lost after the uh, uh, you know uh, the possession or the uh, rule of missionaries so that was one reason as well so uh, he didn't want white men to oh, uh, rule the uh, ibo society so the struggle against change uh as he was struggling against a white man he was also struggling against uh, the change he didn't want a change and uh, uh, he didn't like changes so he was unable to accept changes he was the uh, uh, not a quite a flexible person and because of which he was unable to accept the changes so oh uh, uh, like uh, uh, he believed that uh, uh, if he accept this he, it will change everything it will change his own prestige it will change his own self his self worth in the society and he will become a common man like everybody else so there were many fears uh, in uh, akonko's uh, uh, like akonko's mind and uh, apparently he was not showing those fear but he was just trying to cope up with things so at the end of the novel akonko struggles uh, uh, with himself about uh, what to do now that his culture is doomed and uh, before he realizes how doomed it is akonko believes that uh, he will just fight against the white man so but when he realizes that uh, how truly alone uh, he is the he struggles with uh, whether he can go on uh, living uh, and the implications killing himself would have so uh, that is how that is why or he just felt uh, uh, not weak but he just felt alone uh, when uh, his clan didn't support him so uh, that was the worst nightmare of a conco because he was doing everything for them but uh, at the end they didn't support him they didn't take his side so ultimately uh, all the conflicts the outer the internal conflicts or the inner conflicts they all led to the uh, death or tragic death of the conco uh, as he hanged himself and he committed suicide it also showed the resistance the uh, sign of committing suicide uh, suicide notion of the committing suicide is also a kind of re- uh, resistance against everything else so these were all the conflicts uh, uh, i'm sorry uh so these are all the conflicts uh, like the external uh, uh, all the previous conflicts they were the external conflicts and uh, there is internal conflicts and the human consequences between two cultures and things fall for affect the uh, eumophia people's religion their agriculture their ju- judicial system their social social life uh, so oh everything was just uh, you know uh, getting on the nerves and everything was just collapsing so the revival of the white man and uh, the white man religion there comes uh, cu- culture there comes uh, the kaluyan so the missionaries they came to convert people and they built the eumophias uh, religion religious traditions and strongly urged them to abandon their gods so uh, this doesn't go over well with the people and the conflict arises so the throughout the novel Uh, we can say that uh, the conflict uh, within the characters are the driving forces uh, uh i uh, like to conclude we can say that the, throughout the uh, novel the conflict uh, within the characters 
are the driving forces for uh, the uh, like actions that, that create plot or uh, uh, story or the story of the novel and it shows the true imperialism behind it and uh, uh, it also shows uh, that uh, how uh, the with the arrival of the white men and uh, uh, destroyed everything um, uh, Achibe was just trying to show that at uh, all the, they already had their culture, they already had their traditions, their own judicial system, their own uh, uh, political system, agriculture system. They uh, didn't need anything else. But uh, uh, the white men, they just, uh, uh, you know, they just. Um, uh, belittle them they just try to degrade it them by a uh, pointing out uh, the uh, drawbacks and uh, loopholes in their, their culture or in their uh, uh, religion or tradition uh, religious uh, values so uh, when we belittle someone and uh, 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 like uh, dear things uh, uh, some, when we belittle someone believes so it ultimately uh, uh, got us into a fight it ultimately uh, creates the conflict uh, uh, between the people between uh, and the everything else so that is how the conflict created in the uh, things fall apart uh, every the conflict uh, the, there were conflict within the uh, umofian society they were in conflict with the missionaries uh, they were in conflict with their own self they were in conflict uh, the younger generation and the older generation and uh, uh, so these were uh, and basically those conflicted originated with the arrival of uh, the white man Otherwise, uh, they although they uh, were uh, ha- living happily, but they had the inner conflicts. But they were uh, minor ones. They uh, they were not uh, huge ones that they uh, just get into or oh, get uh, or uh, let them to oh, the deaths. So that is all for now. I ha- hope you understood everything and uh, uh, my apologies for any distortion or uh, uh, any kind of, uh, uh, you know, um, like uh, uh, any kind of uh, obstacle in the uh, lecture. Uh, that's for all. Uh, thank you so much. Stay blessed.